Welcome back you beautiful people, I'm Trail Bike Blake, but you can call me TBB for short. <laughs> Welcome back you beautiful people, I'm Enduro Bike Blake. By the way, you nick my words, man. They're my beautiful people, not yours. No, don't you start. Prove it. If that guy wasn't there, I would have hurt you by now. Hi, I'm your Trail Angel, but you can call me Trail Angel for short. We have two different bikes that are trying to define themselves on the mountain trails. Some of us get confused on what is a trail bike and what is an enduro bike. But thanks to our friends at Common Cell, they've given Trail Blake the Meta TR29 and enduro bike Blake the Meta AM29. It's time to define what these two bikes are all about. It's your trail angel here. In today's proceedings, we'll be timing the two Blakes on three courses, an uphill, a trail loop, and a downhill. Let's start with an uphill. Hi. Hey guys. Hi. Right, you hey. ready? I'm ready. Trail yeah. bike. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Because you're going to go first. Okay. Great. Your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Endura Blake. Yes, three. I'm ready. Two, one, go. Like this. He's actually looking good as well. Hard work. That is hard work. I'll see what Enduro Blake's got. Let's see what Enduro Blake's got. <laughs> Can I throw up? Taking this time. No, here he is. Oh, he looks dead. <laughs> wow, you look absolutely dead. I am dead. Yeah, I am right, dead. I got 312. What did you get? 319. Three. All right. Yeah. Three. Three. Feel all right? Dead. No. No? No. Enduro racing and riding takes place on long, arduous courses. Now there are transitional segments, also known as liaisons, that need to be ridden, but you're not timed on them. The time segments themselves are predominantly downhill, and it's always on very technical terrain. Enduro bikes are essentially heavy-duty all-mountain bikes, specced up to handle the brutal racing conditions. Now the geometry on an enduro bike is designed around descending in mind. For example, the Meta All Mountain has a 63.6 degree head angle for confidence when you point it down through the steep and rough, and a climbing friendly 78.5 degree seat angle, keeping a body weight between the two wheels. Now combine this geometry with a burly Fox 38mm fork, a Shimano XT 1x12 transmission with a huge 510% gear range, and serious braking anchor power from Shimano XT 4 pot brakes, and you have got one hell of a weapon for enduro racing and riding. This challenge is a trail loop that consists of punchy climbs, descents, jumps, and everything above. Now we're gonna put both the riders and their rigs 
through their paces. Are you ready, Trail Bike Blake? I'm ready, Trangel. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. muddy. I got snot coming out of everywhere. Snot. Oh, that was muddy. Okay. Enduro Bike Blake, are you ready? I'm ready, my trail angel. Three, two, one. That is hard. That is hard work. Uh. <coughs> Dude, the recovery right now is for real, bruh. It I is, man. I still taste blood in my mouth from I that. Can, that was yeah. so hard. Me you? too. Me too, yeah. dude. I, I, that was difficult. So, so hard. Time-wise. Yeah. I don't, don't know, know times. Do we? No. no. Trangel? Trangel. Trangel. Trangel! 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 <laughs> Gentlemen, yes, you both did very well. But it all comes down to the times, doesn't it? Yep. Trail Bike Blake, you did it in 43.56. That's a good time. That's that pretty good, good time. time. Whoa, yeah. that is, that's good. pretty good. Trail Bike Blake, yeah. Blake. Yeah. you did it in 45 yeah. and two seconds. Wow. Ooh. It was hard. You were slow. It was hard. And it was hard going, it yes. Look at you. Well. well done. But no, all is Good lost. Next time. <sighs> Get some recovery. Yeah. And we'll move on. The trail bike sits between the XC bike and the enduro bike, handling balance perfectly to suit climbing and descending, but will happily whistle along flatter terrain without feeling lethargic. The Meta TR has a climbing friendly seat angle of 78.6 degrees and a relaxed 64.5 degree head angle. The versatile Shimano transmission means it's equally at home on techie climbs as it is bombing through rough terrain thanks to Fox suspension. It's got the big old Fox 36 on the front and a float shock on the rear. Once up to speed, the two-part XT brakes and large disc rotors keep things under control. Now trail bikes are not quite as twitchy as XC bikes, but they're not quite as relaxed as an enduro bike. Really, this is the MTB for everyone. But it's also worth noting that some trail bikes follow the geometry favoring the enduro bike end of the spectrum, whilst others lean towards the XC side. Are you ready, Trail Bike Blake? I'm ready, Trangel. Right, in three, two, one, go. One, go.
that's my race run. Let's see what uh, Enduro Bike Blake's got. Oh. Enduro Bike, are you ready? Yeah! In three, two, one, go! to train Joe. Give us the times, man. <laughs> Gentlemen, the times. <laughs> you don't know them, do you? No. Trail bike Blake, you did it in one minute, 12 seconds. Oh, yes. well done. Yeah, well done. That's yeah. Pretty, well done, yeah. pretty quick. Enduro huh. bike Blake, you did it in one minute, nine seconds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> There is one bike we are missing out on. Do you know what it is? It's the Clash. If you're on a big hitting, capable and versatile bike, but you're all about ripping rather than racing, you definitely want to be considering a bike park shredder over an enduro race bike. I'm going to throw a spanner into the works. Take a look at this. This is the all new designed Commensal Clash with new geometry and new kinematics. This bike does it all. Yeah, enduro downhill, bike parks, chilled rides, even riding some technical trails with ease. Unlike the other two bikes being 29er, this is a 27.5 and this thing is a beast. Talk about beast, the travel on this. On the front is 180 mil of travel with that Fox 38. And on the rear is this Fox DHX2 with 170 mil of travel. To them two idiots. They're, 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 they're my, my beautiful words. people. They're my beautiful my, people. No. My beautiful people. Stop it. My you're beautiful you're, people. They're, no, Stop they're it. my people. My, Come my on, beautiful stop people. talking to me. These are my they're, beautiful people, and you're just. They're, they're my beautiful people. Oh. Let's just stop. They're right. my beautiful Let's agree people. to disagree, okay? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Right. There you go. That is trail versus enduro. And uh, the trail bike is perfect for long, epic adventures where the trails are mellow, flat, and you need to gain your speed, you can pedal, you got a lot of climbs, they're great in the climbs, and when it comes to gnarly trails, these things are capable. I can go down some gnarly rough stuff and not worry about being underbiked. But when it comes to bigger jumps, uh, well, maybe it's, maybe it's a bit it's, more for this guy. It's, yeah, it's exactly right, that, the, the Enduro bike. Now, the Enduro bike, when it comes to gnarly alpine trails, this thing is super capable, big, long descents. But you can still climb to the top with ease and still continue to do so. Uh, but when it comes to big jumps, this is, you know, you're not gonna feel underbiked. This bike can take a hell of a lot. But I'll tell you what, that Clash Blake is unreal oh, yeah. good. That thing is super Dude, steezy, bro. Super yeah, steezy, bro. Yeah. Beautiful, you, beautiful people. Pe pe come on. Mine, we said dude. it. Beautiful people are mine. They're mine. No, they're mine. They're... You're not even there. Look, there's no one there. There's actually no one there. I'm just talking to my damn self. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's back. Go, go away. He's gone. See you later, beautiful people. <laughs>